Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we completed Tally's personal quest, we managed to avoid Tally being exiled, and we didn't have to throw her dad under the bus to do so, so big thumbs up there. Now we're gonna have another round of uh, crew member talks. Let's, let's start with Kelly, why not? We're right here. I had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Hmm. Um. Again, we'd Kelly is Kelly is very obviously a Cerberus plant. Again, Ni Naomi is taking a Stonewall approach with Kelly. Yep, she's okay. We have no opinions. It's good to have her on the team. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Okay. Yeah. Any any problems within the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? And anything new here? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Hmm. Yeah, nothing new. Okay. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. We will, but we will not trust you. And uh, no gossip, really. Normally we get gossip when we pass there. I'm glad that mess is over for Tali, Commander. Some of those Quarians. I guess living your whole life aboard a ship can really mess with your priorities. Not that I would know. I'll just burn myself. Great. Yeah, yeah, you did. Anything new? I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. Okay. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Okay. Short and sweet, as Naomi likes it. Now then, now that we've gotten those two out of the way, let's head to someone that Naomi actually wants to talk to. Morden. Morden, my friend. Hello. Shepard, how can I help? Mm, yeah, nothing new there. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. I hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean collector connection, can examine technology, chart reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Ooh. Yeah, ab absolutely. We are happy to listen. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination. Can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Oh, yeah, it... I think this thought would hurt Naomi, based on their last conversation, but I think that her first thought would be, what would Liara make of all of this? Liara dedicated her career, her life really, because it was it was like a hundred years, which again isn't exactly long to an Asari, but to a human, that's that's a lifetime. She dedicated all of that time to, you know, going to different dig sites. She was an archaeologist. She was trying to figure out what happened to the Protheans, and here we have the answer, and they're still here, except. The, the collectors, that's what they've become. And as, you know, as Morden said, mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers, transmitting data to masters, this, this once proud, genius race consigned to this. What would Liara think of all of this? I'd... I, I think she'd be asking this thinking of Liara, and it, it'd hurt. It'd hurt. I don't think that Naomi wants to think about Liara. But I, I think she'd ask it on her behalf. Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul replaced by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves, tools for reapers. Protheans dead, collectors just final insult. 
must be destroyed. Oof. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw a necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies, one wins, one loses, always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what Collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before, don't mean to imply that, just committed now. Won't let you down. Ah, oh, buddy. Buddy, we know you won't. You said the Collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. Yeah, hold up, hold up here. You sing. I'm sorry, I know that was important, but you perform Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. Hey! Don't just stand there, Naomi! Clap! Clap for the man! She's clapping in her mind. She's shocked, clearly, but in her mind she's like, Oh, damn! That was really good! What is it about the Collector's modifications that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. Oh. I mean, here's the thing. It, it... It was. Um... I, th I think this would be Naomi's first thought. Again, you're... You're saying that we were wrong to meddle. We were wrong to meddle in what was going on with them. But you re-meddled. You re-meddled. Like, do you not see? Do you not see that? If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That, or kill them all. If around during first contact, would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. Hmm. You blame the Solarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight, technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone, worked out aggression, been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. Foolish. I, I think that Naomi would agree with that. I, I think that... Because that did come off as rather hostile. Oh, you, you think the Salarians are responsible for what the Krogan did? God damn those Krogan. I, I think that... I, I think that Naomi likes to pick at Morden's brain from time to time. There are, there are certain things where she's like, yeah, I'm not even going to joke about that. Saying like, oh, well, let's just kill the Krogan. Yeah, no, Naomi isn't... Not even to pick at his brain. She, she's never going to say that, not even to pick at his brain, but something like that. Oh, you, you think that the Salarians were at fault for what the Krogan did? Just to pick at him a little? She's, she's willing to go that far. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morden. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Uh, thank you for singing. That was lovely. Shepard, how can I help? Again, I, I always have to check. Have you got a minute to talk? Later, updating crew dental records. All Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Primitive. Ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? You're saying we should put flash flashbangs in their eyes. Okay. Okay, goodbye. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Okay, Morden, that's nice. That's nice, buddy. You scare me sometimes.
Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. Maybe not the best way to learn about the relatives, but I'm glad it's done. What do you need? Yeah. Yeah, are you ready to talk? I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. Okay, fair deuce. We'll talk later. Commander. And here I was, thinking he'd have stuff to talk about. After that major bombshell that was his personal quest, but... No. No, it doesn't seem like it. I... Jacob deserves better. Jacob deserves so much better. Um, any gossip? Any gossip in here? Okay, no. Looks like we've ran out of gossip. Um, we can't talk to Samara because we haven't completed her personal quest. We can't talk to Thane because we haven't done his personal quest. Uh, Kasumi, though. Kasumi might have stuff to say. Hey, Shepard. Hey. Jacob deserves better than a father like that. I probably would have wanted to shoot him, too. Mm. I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. It is. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Okay. Okay, good stuff, Kasumi. And again, we won't have anything to speak to Garrus about because we haven't done his personal quest. Commander, what can I do for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything to chat about? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Oh, damn. I guess we've completely ran out of dialogue for Miranda, too. Jeez. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Damn. Flipping heck. I... I can't believe the Collectors were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans being regal, not giant... bugs. Who knows what the Reapers did to them? Creepy. Yeah, it is. It is very creepy. I... The thing with Miranda, his... On, on one hand, it is frustrating that they lock off. Okay, until you do this character's personal quest, you can't speak to them anymore. I find that a little frustrating. Um, Miranda's was the first personal quest we ever did. So, of course, we were going to exhaust her her dialogue first. But it, it, it makes me feel like the game's coming to an end. Whenever I run out of dialogue with a character, I'm just like, oh my god, the game's ending soon. The game's ending, and I always, I, I always get a little, a little iffy when that happens. I never like saying goodbye to a game. How may I help you, Commander? And I get you don't have anything new. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. I'll always check. I'll always check, but yeah, I, I don't think that Charkwas is gonna get anything new. God, I'm. I'm glad they included the, um, the, the, you know, the scene where, um, Shepard and Charquas drank. I thought that was really nice. I just wish that, I, I'm not even asking for, like, a bunch of these scenes. Maybe just two or three. One that you have in the, you know, in Act 1, one for Act 2, one for Act 3. And the same for Joker. I really wish they gave us actual cut scenes that were spread out over the course of the game because again this this is a personal issue i don't find joker and shepherd's friendship believable because they don't talk like yeah they have funny banter but that doesn't make me think oh they're really good friends it, it just makes me think oh they have banter and like that's it that's a really shallow relationship i don't find this friendship believable it, mm. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute? You might learn something. Oh, always. Can't say I blame Taylor's pop. A man does what he has to do to survive. Ran up against a Batarian camp, not too different from that one. Job was to erase the whole thing from the map. Men, women, and the man in charge. Learned that day that despots are cowards. 
You show them you're in charge, not them, and they cry like little girls. Sir. Sir. You don't need sex to survive. Humans are not like ferrets. Ferrets actually do need to have sex to survive. So, you know, that... Like, if, if that was an actual thing, like, oh, I needed to have sex, otherwise I was going to die, and therefore I resorted to rape. It still doesn't make it any better. It still doesn't make it any better. But I could see the logic of, like, well, shit, he, he was gonna die. He was gonna die. You've still gotta go to prison, because fuck you. But that wasn't the case for Jacob's dad. He didn't need sex to survive. He just decided, I've earned this. I've earned this because I I deserve all of these attractive women to suck my dick. No! No! That's fucking horrific! I hope those men tore him limb from limb. Fuck him! I... Mm -hmm. I knew this girl once. Asari. Good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going. Until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. Are you describing Naomi's relationship with Liara? Because that... <laughs> Naomi knew an Asari once. She had a, a good head on her shoulders. That all changed when she sold her out to Cerberus. It rather put a, a sour note on the relationship. <laughs> oh, the pain. The pain in Naomi's heart. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. You can't just remind her about her recent heartbreak and then say, now piss off. God damn it, Zaid. God damn it. Now then, hello. Keela, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, was was that normal? Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. Oh. I, I don't know if I could live in that environment. I'm very much a, um, a solitary creature. Uh, do you think that politics will shift after this? I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty Board. What will that do to the balance of power? I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Replacing an Admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. Hmm. Yeah, and ultimately, it all boils down to this. Tally absolutely deserved better. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gap. I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. Oh. Oh, we so good, lass. Shepard, what can I do for you? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I ever had a chance to ask these. I can't remember. You know, we'll, we'll go through them. Why not? Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collectorship? My shield fortification will help, but I don't think there is much more I can do. Okay, so we did pick up something. Um, yeah, I can't remember asking these, so we'll go through them. Is the new Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard. I'm a Quarian. Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jumps. I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. Hmm. How's the Normandy running? These new shield upgrades should slow down even the collectorship. It makes the engine a little trickier to fine-tune, but it's worth it for a better chance of surviving a collector attack. Oh, it is. It really is. Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? Okay, fair dues. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Now, it seems I may actually hey, have... 
What has the new shielding done to your power grid balance? Not much. With built-in capacitor subsystems, they have a surprisingly low draw. Doesn't that mean the shielding boost wouldn't last long under fire? True. They're built for hard, fast strikes, not firefights of attrition. Okay. Um, it seems I may have missed Tali's first conversation. Um, the ge I guess the game expects you, okay, you've picked someone up, you go talk to them immediately, which is, you know, not what I do. I operate on my own time frame. Thank you very much. Um, now, I actually do have a save file from right before I did the last main mission, so I can always go back and see what her first conversation was. Um, you know, that's, that's one of the risks you run with a blind let's play. You may not get everything, you may not realize that the game wants you to do certain things at certain times. Um, yeah, if, if I have missed Tali's first conversation, if the game doesn't correct course, that's a shame, but like I said, that's that's the risk you run with a blind let's play. Now then, I doubt you'll have anything new, but just in case. What can we do for you, Commander? Okay, yeah, nothing. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Goodbye. We can't talk to Jack because we haven't done her mission. Now then, Grunt, good buddy. Hello. Shepard. Yeah, let's chat. Just checking in. How are you doing? I'm branching out. Got a list of enemies now. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a Solarian with a... What are they? The things on his head pulled apart? Bet it caused a generation of revenge. What is that, a few weeks for them? So what did you want? A buddy, buddy! This, uh, this, is, this is some serial killer shit. This is some serial killer shit, but he's a Krogan, so this might be normal for them. Um... Trying to get better. Better is a... Th there's no one definitive term for what better is. This could be perfectly normal for a Krogan. This could be better for a Krogan. I, I don't think that Naomi would want to encourage this. So like, like I said, he's talking about... Effectively pulling someone's head apart. That's fucked. You know, I kind of thought connecting with your past would bring stability. <laughs> See, now we're having fun. Me remembering good deaths, and you with your, your funny human thing you're doing. My job is to hurt things. Direction, control, that's your job, Battlemaster. You're why I'm a soldier, not dead or crazed like an animal. Thank you, Shepard. You gave me purpose. Now, let's find something big to kill. I'm just... That was adorable, but also terrifying. I'm just imagining that, that meme. You are my dad. You're my dad. Woogie, woogie, woogie. I'm just imagining that. But it's Grunt pointing at Shepard, just like, Hey, thanks, Mom. I'm like, God damn it, Grunt. I love you, though. You're one of my favorites. You're one of my favorites, so I, I'll i forgive you, but like, god damn, you, you scare me. Shepard. Grunt. Yeah, just, just in case. Just checking in. How are you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. Hey, I'm glad you're happy. Imagining brutal murders. That's all for now. Shepard. Okay, buddy. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to assume his behavior is normal for Krogan. Rex was a very atypical Krogan. Grunt is probably more in line with, you know, what is regular. Now, before I move on, we got a couple of new upgrades. Okay, nothing new there. We do have some tech damage. Thank you kindly. And there was... Yes, this. Ooh, hang on a minute. 
Okay, no, this this is what I thought it was. It was the fact that it was showing a geth and I was like, wait, what? No, this this is upgrading our stuff. Okay, good stuff. Yep, let's grab it. And do do do. Yeah, that's if you want to look like Iron Man. I'm not all too fussed about that. You know what? I, d I don't think that Naomi would be all that fussed about, you know, Cerberus armor or Collector Chitin armor. She's not interested in looking like Iron Man, but you know what? You know what? We'll, we'll grab these. We've got the stuff for it. We might as well. And the missile launcher. Okay, and that is everything that- yeah, that didn't unlock anything there. Okay. Okie doke. Alrighty then, good stuff. In the next episode, we will return to planet scanning. However, for now, we're just about at the end. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. The Still in its experimental stages. The M622 avalanche generates a Bose-Einstein condensate within a mass effect bubble, which dissipates on impact, violently spraying the condensate outward and coating the target in a near absolute zero superfluid. The avalanche is unreliable, at times merely coating its target with ice, defacing exposed skin and freezing armor joints. Such low temperatures cause great damage to electronics like kinetic barrier emitters, which sometimes leads to total systems failure. At the other extreme, the avalanche freezes flesh and bone, causing massive trauma as blood vessels constrict and frozen blood expands. Occasionally, such ice tissue shatters. Hmm, very deadly. The M920 Kane is a portable particle accelerator surrounding an array of dust form element zero chambers. This weapon prototype subjects its ESO to extreme positive and negative currents to project mass effect fields. By increasing and decreasing mass, the fields shear the target's mass the way disruptor torpedoes do. The shearing fields collide ambient materials at such high speeds they create mushroom clouds, an effect otherwise impossible on the small scale. The weapon induces neither fission nor fusion in non-nuclear targets and its own nuclear reactions are shielded by lead alloys. The M920 Kane uses graphite rods as neutron moderators, which require frequent replacement to sustain power. Fortunately, most heavy weapon ammunition can be refabricated via Omnitool into graphite rods. And finally, the missile launcher. Based on existing technology, the ML-77 is a rapid-fire missile launcher using seeking projectiles. Each projectile features a friend or foe recognition system, ensuring it will find a hostile target even if the user's aim is not completely accurate. The weapon excels at taking out snipers and other entrenched enemies in dense urban environments. This makes it popular with mercenary groups, particularly the Blue Sun's mercenary band. Missile launchers have been appearing with increasing frequency in the Terminus system, but their point of manufacture is unknown. Legal duplication of missile launchers is difficult due to fabrication rights management, FRM, technology. Okie doke, and with that, I am going to bring this episode to a close. In the next one, we do some more planet scanning, but until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.